All right, guys, it's uh, me, the gun nut. Here today, I am under the shade, um, out here at the range. It's hot. Um, happy Labor Day weekend. Um, I'm sure y'all seen my Labor Day review. Um, and before, you know, I've, on the other previous reviews, I've talked about, let's talk about ammo, different types of ammo. Well, I'll tell you what, let's do that right now. Um, we're going to be talking about different types of ammo. People ask me, uh, you know, what's what's best for everyday carry or, you know, what should I use to practice or, you know, stuff like that. And um, honestly, best answer is just use full metal jackets for practice and hollow points for everyday carry. Um, and I'm going to show you different types of hollow points um, and um, just full metal jackets and reason why you should not use full metal jackets for your everyday carry um, so enough of that uh, let me switch let's see if we can do this roll right here um, what we have here is Federals they've got some RIP rounds and we got some Hornaday's um, critical defense so um, first we will do with the full metal jackets um, Full metal jackets. These are for your target practicing, just playing out in the range. Reason being, um, because you're at the range. Your targets are your targets and they just, it doesn't matter. So, um, if they go through the target and into the bank, you know, into the dirt, it's okay. Reason why you don't carry these, everyday carry, because they will keep going. They will go through a wall if it's if you're in a house um, and you have full metal jackets inside your on your gun for your personal protection as your everyday carry if you're inside a house or out in public or Lord forbid if you have to pull your gun out and have to use it for protection um, you don't want these in there reason being they won't open up as you can see it's a solid almost just it's a round point these will keep going they will keep traveling until the bullet itself says hey i'm gonna stop i'm slowing down i can't go far enough i'm gonna stop so yes they will keep going through walls and whatever else is on that side and you do not want that for everyday carry so um that's why you just use these for target practice uh, i know a lot of y'all already out there already know that but this information is just for uh new gun owners you know people that need the information about what should they carry so full metal jackets fmjs um that's what these are full metal jackets they're just for target practice you know stuff you can take to the range not for everyday carry in your on your uh, personal protection gun so please do not use full metal jackets everyday carry um next we are going to grab the rip rounds um these they just look nasty. They look so wicked. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. They just look pretty cool. Um, they're actually, I guess, like a little miniature shrapnel uh, slug type deal thing. As you can see where it's, they look like it'll split up. It actually does. On impact, whenever it hits on impact, these little shrapnel pieces break off. And there is a slug inside of it. So if you're just not shooting little shrapnels. Um, the shrapnel pieces break off and that's followed by a, a small slug behind it. So you're getting the slug plus the small little shrapnel pieces. Um, these little shrapnel pieces, you can look on their uh, YouTube video. They've done a, um, I guess, a ballistics gel test. And man, it's wicked. Check it out. The RIP rounds, when it hits, the shrapnel, they just scatter. They go everywhere. They're all together. It hits and they just start opening up and they start scattering. Um, and some have traveled completely way off path. So these are more basically one shot and that's all it is to it. Um, they're deadly little rounds. They look wicked. Um, they're not cheap. Uh, I believe like a box of 20 go for about 50 bucks, $52. Um, now the critical defense of Hornaday, which basically I believe is the most common round, the critical defense of Hornaday is just a hollow point 
which looks like it's got like a little ray red I'm sorry red clay dough tip inside of it um, there's basically it does what it does um, it just shoots and when it hits on impact it opens up to slow down and stop so that way it does not keep traveling same way with these uh, the RP rounds, it hits, it opens up, and it stops. It does not keep going, unlike the full metal jackets. They keep traveling until they decide to hit something completely um, solid that it cannot travel through, or until it loses momentum and says, I'm going to stop. So please, folks, do not carry full metal jackets. Uh, hollow points preference is basically whatever you feel like also follow the guidelines on some of your uh, firearms look on the owner's manual it will say some uh, do not use the plus p ammo because it will void the warranty on some of the uh, firearms so you got to pay close attention to that as well um, but there you have it folks uh, just a quick rundown on ammo preference and why what's the difference between full metal jackets and um, everyday carry so um, if you got any questions again uh, comment below let me know um, and just stay tuned for the next uh, review which will end up being on the new Q5 the Walter Q5 match um, it's a new competition series 9 millimeter it's a nice little pistol. So, um, guys, this is the gun nut. Um, what more can I say? As you can see, since I'm up here at the range, um, and, well, as you can see, yeah, I believe we will sling some lead. So, um, and uh, all these, you can find all of this ammo at a Georgia gun store. So, just stop by Mike and Kelly and Chris and just let them know what kind of ammo you need and... They'll hook you up. So, again, uh, Mike, Kelly, Chris, guys, Georgia Gun Store. You guys are awesome. You rock. Um, thank you again for all your supplies, um, the support that you've given me to be able to do what I do here at the range. So, guys, this is the gun nut. I don't know what else I can say. Just comment below, share, like, tell your friends about it and everything. Pass it along. This is gun nut. I'm out.